like I see buoys, I see crates, I see uh, buckets, I see barrels, pieces of rope, and it's just, this is really a soup. We definitely found uh, a rip current, so we had uh, long streaks of plastic. It's just bizarre. It's, it's bizarre that to see the plastic cluster like this. And it's bizarre to realize that we made such a mess of the ocean. And that we've been able to make such a mess of the ocean 1500 miles from civilization. So even when there's no people around at all, we still manage to pollute. So this was the first trip with System 3. It's quite exciting to deploy this whole new system here in the middle of the ocean, bigger than ever. And the whole trip went relatively smooth. I mean, if we introduce new things, you, uh, you can always expect some teething problems. Uh, but we didn't lose too much time on those. Went well. What we understood, or expected, but proved on the first years of the campaign is that the GPGP, a Great Plastic Garbage Patch, had several hotspots, meaning places of high plastic densities, way more than around. And if we are able to steer the system in a good way, we can really catch a lot of plastic in a short time. So a good way to understand this is seeing the GPGP as a soup. If it is a mixed soup, it is totally homogeneous. You don't have any other spots, the same density everywhere. And if that is the case, you can do whatever you want roughly with your system. You will always see the same things. But we, have, we now know that the GPGP is highly heterogeneous. So you can actually see it as a broth with a couple of moving meatballs. And our goal uh, is really to find those meatballs of, uh, of plastic to be able to make a good use of uh, these vessels and this system. So by looking at the sea current, we can see how our meatballs are moving or uh, forming or sometimes disappearing. It's all about uh, using models and other type of data like GPS, satellite-based uh, measurement, all those kind of things putting together to try to maximize the plastic encounter uh, in the field, to maximize the plastic catch, meaning steering, directing the system as efficiently as possible to have as much plastic as possible. During the last few missions, System 2 gradually morphed into System 3. So we've been introducing System 3 components bit by bit already. And there's a couple of main changes uh, from System 3 with respect to System 2. System 2 had 3 meter deep wings and System 3 has 4 meter deep wings. So we are a little bit deeper, so we are skimming a little bit more of the ocean surface. And of course we have a lot more System 3 wings to make the system a lot bigger. And the other change is the retention zone. And the retention zone just became a lot bigger. It became a lot longer and the extraction section can hold a lot more plastics. And now on system 3 we have two camera skiffs 
Right now with 10 cameras, but soon that will be upgraded to 16 cameras. So we can have a way better view of everything that's going on inside the retention zone. And we have this new feature, the marine animal safety hatch. We had uh, two different designs that we trialed now. We are standing on top of the mesh now. It's the marine animal safety hatch. So this is a, a new section in the retention zone that has a hatch that we can activate. So whenever marine animals swim into the retention zone and they are at risk of being trapped, we can push a button and the system opens up and the marine animal is directed out of the retention zone and back into the open ocean. First time in the water, let's see how it works out. So far so good, we have an inflated mesh. The tests were quite successful, but on the next trip we're still going to test both of them with a little more, bit more advanced system, so we have a remote control. And this will be a game changer in the whole system because whenever we have an encounter with a marine animal, we just push a button and we guide the animal out of the retention zone. And it was really cool to trial this on this mission, eh? first time, successful test, good learnings, so we know what to do to make it better on the next missions. Whoa, it's going good. We have uh, had the biggest load ever, 18 tons. Wow! And uh, final, on this trip, we have 40, 46 tons, so that's good. Out here we want to be as effective as possible and one of our philosophies is bigger is better. Uh, it's not always true. And I think we are finding out on this mission and on the future missions that uh, there might be an optimum. We have mainly seen this with this one very big catch yeah, where we pulled on board the 18.3 tons. It is such a big pile of plastics that it takes a lot of time to work your way through it. And it's, it's better to have anywhere between 8 and 12 tons on deck because you can get rid of it in one day. And you'll be towing again by nightfall. So, there's an optimum somewhere, but so far we see that System 3 is a lot bigger than System 2 and we just get a lot, of, lot more plastics than System 2. So, so far, bigger works out. This is so good, this is so good. Woo! This is so good, it's so big. It's enormous. It's just enormous. This is the plastic dance, and I should do it the whole day because there is so... something like that. 